So we've been working with Nokia now um, on wireless technologies. We were the first with 2G, we were the first with 3G, we were the first with 4G, and now we're the first with 5G. So we've been incredibly loyal and had an amazing partnership with Nokia now for well over 20 years, and we see that going forward uh, into the future. So any program like 5G or any radio rollout, uh, or any technology rollout for, for, for that matter, has a number of uh, challenges. Um, this program, we, we kicked off in February, but really didn't gain traction until June when we had the full business case developed. And Tygen uh, Govinda, my head of radio, and myself on the 10th of June went to Finland. We met with Tommy Uito, the head of radio for Nokia globally, and we had a very productive set of workshops. We went up to Ulo uh, and saw the um, overall um, development shop. And at that point, we put together a plan that only six months later, we go live. Uh, so 10th of December, live. So it's a pretty aggressive program. And throughout that, we've had the, um, an immense amount of support from the Nokia team around the world uh, and we very much appreciate it. So over the next few years we have a pretty exciting roadmap uh, both in coverage with um, over 1500 uh, macro cell sites and a, a large range of small cells being deployed but also we have a very healthy roadmap on, on feature set. So we've launched with the, um, the massive MIMO, which is massive multiple input, multiple output uh, antennas. These are active antennas that allow you to do beamforming and traffic management. Um, and we're also um, launching with um, the Release 15 feature set, which is effectively 4G non-standalone mode for 5G, where you anchor your 5G network off your 4G capability, so that's the evolved packet core and other core aspects of the 4G network. Beyond that we'll be going to 5G core and standalone mode and we're looking at release 16. Uh, as soon as that's available, release 16 from GSMA gives us a number of additional features like network slicing, dynamic power, dynamic traffic and other management features. So a very healthy roadmap over the next two to three years of features. Nokia fits into this as our number one partner and number one key supplier for radio technology and in fact the majority of our network technology.